So um, Suganda's character, the journey that she has in the film, um, has so many resonances with the stories of the archetypal Indian heroines that she portrayed for Raja Ravi Verma, whether it's the story of Draupadi, whether it's the story of Sita or Shakuntala. And because I had moved away to America when I was very young, um, this brought me back to the Ramayana, it brought me back to the Mahabharata, to the beautifully rich tradition of um, stories that we have. It brought me back to the gods and goddesses. And um, it uh, also opened up a really wonderful uh, w world of femininity for me because um, I had to go back to Raja Ravi Parma's paintings to create, uh, to invent the body language of Suganda, the way she would walk with her anklets on or her uh, the chain around her waist, uh, the way she would peep through her eyelashes. As um, Randeep said, so much of the way women learned to carry themselves uh, in India had to do with his paintings. And going back to that, to reinvent uh, that body language for me, which is very different from my body language as Nandana, was a really beautiful part of the experience as well. Last two questions. And, and I've got to add something to that. He was a great nationalist, mm. a patriot. When he was asked to paint the paintings, copy the paintings of the European <coughs> Uh, uh, churches and everything and to put them in Raja uh, Maharaja Baroda's palace, he refused to do it. He said, we ourselves have got so many stories to tell, why are we going looking at the West? And then he said that, uh, 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 and to find a nationalist and a patriot who is also colourful, this does not happen in this country. If you are a national <laughs> patriot, you are a boring person with khadi, da, 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 you know. But with Raja Ravi Varma, he really carried both, uh, both uh, things with great fervour and you know, and through, through, and when he said, okay, then paint the uh, paintings of Ramayana and Mahabharata, so he said, I haven't seen India. So he actually went on a tour, which we take you in the movie, all across India. We take you from Travancore to Baroda, to Banaras, to Jhansi, to Khajurao, to uh, yeah. Jaisalmer, yeah. to all these places. And so it is like um, seeing India of that time in a beautiful big canvas with great music, great love story and uh, that is Rangrasya for you. It's not just Raja Ravi Varma, it is the world he created. Uh, Ketan sir, a uh, film which has been controversies in As a filmmaker, how difficult is it to keep controversies away from the work? Uh, controversies are a result of your actions. It is not a, a preconceived position. Uh, I believe that if you are trying to do anything different, there would be different opinions to, towards it. If you try and do the same things again and again, for me, it's a boring life. So, uh, I like to challenge myself. I like to create challenges which others can participate in and make their own. Uh, and that is what life is all about. And I'd like to add to that, that it's also about how, what is it that is meriting that is demanding the controversy. In this case, this particular story uh, focuses on how this painter's journey revealed the, um, the ways in which women are vulnerable in society. And in order to understand that, you need to see her story in all of its fullness. And if the cost that you pay for that is controversy, that's a cost that you're paying for being true to your art, for being really honest in the story that you're telling, for not trying to hide anything and telling the whole story.